All right, y'all, we live. I know it's kind of dark in here. Y'all hear, man, Adrian Broner just defeats John Molina Jr. Y'all hear, man, we live after the fight. NBC on PBC, PBC on NBC, whatever you want to call it. Broner throws 200, excuse me, 502 punches, landed 219, 44%. John Molina throws 250. I Landed like a, a low number. He didn't really land too many punches. He didn't really throw too many punches. Uh, Brona was, uh, you know, more accurate. Um, you know, it was a, a slow-paced fight. Was impressive. He just didn't close the show, and that's why he got those boots. All right, post-fight interview, y'all. Let's listen. Give me your assessment of your performance. First of all, I got to thank God. You know, um, the environment I'm in today, as you can hear, you know, like always, a lot of them not on my side, but at the end of the day, the last time I fought for the crowd, I took my first loss. So no disrespect to everybody that came to see me fight today. Mm. I had to do what I had to do to get my victory today. Mm. Since that Madonna loss, you have emphasized making a statement here in 140. What statement did you make tonight defeating Molina? Even a vicious guy like Molina. As you can see, I stood right, in, right inside of his face. I, I, didn't, I didn't go nowhere. I jabbed, I took every shot he threw, and I gave back mine, and I won the fight unanimously. Let's take a look at the highlights, and especially as we go through the middle rounds now, round six, it seems that's where uh, you're getting more into your groove and A-B time. He looped the right hand. Ah, uh, man, you know it's always A-B time. Um, like I said, John Molina's a great uh, fighter. Tough, he can hit. So I had to be careful, but at the end of the day, my defense was on point like a thorn, and I did what I had to do. I'm still beautiful at the end of the fight. <laughs> well, a little bit, as you said, you always like to put on a show and a fight, and you started doing both more in the seventh. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, of course. You know, um, he wanted me to sit there and, 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 and bang it out with him, but why would I do that? Well, God gave me so many gifts that I can use. As we move on in this fight, Gets into the ninth and the tenth round. What are you thinking, knowing that he still has that big punching power? It's kind of dark, and I need to put a light in my face. Um, after a while, I Sorry about the darkness, y'all. So, uh, as y'all can see, I'm not at home right now. While we was fighting, I was talking to him. Every shot he missed, I was like, oh, really? Try that again. <laughs> What's next? Um, you know, this is my first time on NBC, so I gotta give it to y'all. Like I said before, anybody can get it. Africans, America. All right, hold on, y'all. Oh, I just had to turn that down, y'all. So yeah, man, Adrian Brown wins by unanimous decision. It was a good fight. It was a slow-paced fight. Um, you know, Brown is still right there in the pocket. Like always, Brona is a heavy-footed guy, um, you know, but Brona got, you know, booed at the end just because, you know, he was moving around and, you know, he didn't want to, you know, get caught by nothing crazy by Malena, but, um, you know, Malena just didn't, you know, do enough to win the decision. I mean, he just didn't, you know, try hard enough in my opinion, but, um, you know, Malena's a strong guy. He took Brona's punches. Broner took, you know, a couple of his punches, that, you know, the punches that landed on Broner by Malena, you know, Broner took those and, uh, you know, Broner, you know, got the uh, victory. Um, but Broner's still heavy footed. He still needs to learn how to um, move around. Hold on one second, y'all. This is going to be kind of crazy what I'm doing, but I need to, I don't know if y'all can see me. Okay, that's better. So, yeah, man, Broner, he needs to... um move more he's still heavy footed but i'm glad he got the victory and brona you know pretty much did everything right you know boxing sticking it with a jab sticking it with a jab and um you know this this uh you know this fight brona basically wanted to outbox Molina, and that's what he did he you know went upstairs with the jab he jabbed downstairs jabbed upstairs 
you know, moved around a little bit. And, you know, he got hit a couple times, a couple times with the um the overhand right, and eventually he adapted. And then he started every time I let him throw the right hand, he ducked it, and that's what you're supposed to do. If you throw the shoulder roll and somebody throw an overhand wild a, a wild shot, you duck it. You don't just lean back a few times. Broner kept leaning back. I'm like, yo, stop leaning back. Please stop doing that. Because you're gonna get caught with some crazy so uh you know Broner needs to sorry about that. Brona needs to stop, you know, leaning back. He just needs to, you know, duck overhand right when somebody throws it. So, uh, you know, his jab looked good. But, yeah, it was a slow-paced fight. But, um, I mean, I don't know, man. What's next for Broner? Um, I don't know, man. Maybe the winner of uh, Thomas Delorme and Terrence Crawford. They had 140. So, I mean, you could possibly fight the winner of those two. And um, I think they fight for Algeria's uh, WBO, um, the 140-pound title. So, you know, I say Broner take the winner of, uh, you know, the winner of that fight, I say Broner should take that. So, um, yeah, man, it was a good fight tonight, even though Broner got booed in the last round. This fight was all, you know, seriousness, and um, he wasn't, yeah, it wasn't no fooling around. And, um, yeah, so Broner got the victory tonight. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this fight, man. Adrian Broner, John Molina, y'all let me know what y'all think, and holler at my mouth, all right? Peace.